Hi there, Deep Notes, and welcome to this week's video, which is all about the new hardware wallet, which is going to be built into the deeper devices. It's been uh, configured and it's been like trialed now. I've just realized that I've got it. I didn't realize that I did. So I thought I would do a video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on stuff coming out in the future. Because um, Deeper Network has a lot of legs, so it's going to do a lot soon. So here okay. we go. So on the test firmware, you can tell you've got the test firmware by going to system over here in device. And it'll see, say, DW5. Okay, that is the Deeper Wallet version 5. And if you go down, you'll see Deeper Wallet tab. Click on that and you have a let's begin thing. Now this is being being uh, tested, so it's not 100% yet. However, uh, it says let's begin and Deep Network is committed to protecting wallet security. And then I ag agree to Deeper's, I was supposed to say terms, so there's one bug. And then you can import the wallet that you already have if you already have one, or you can say I don't have a wallet and it will create a brand new wallet for you. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna set a password. So Apple are already going to do it. Okay, so great. So that'll, that'll do me. Can I have that? Yep. And here is my brand new wallet. Now in this wallet, by the way, this is the first time that I've seen this. Okay, I'm doing this on the fly. So you can see there the network is the Ethereum chain. Uh, and next to it, you've got a test net and you've got the actual Ethereum chain itself. And you've got account one. And obviously you'll be, able, you'll be able to add accounts, I would assume, by yep, going to add account, edit account, backup account. Okay, so <clears throat> then on here you have the feedback, so you can tell them of any problems um, in regards to the wallet, the app, and all that. And you can put it all in and click on confirm. And you have your wallet address here, which you can click to copy. You have then receive and send, so you can go on receive and you have a QR code. And you have send and you put the wallet address in and you'll go on to next blah 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 and you can also back up your wallet as well and you have your tokens here so ethereum I have none because I've just started this wallet up and at the minute it has ethereum BNB so the Binance Smart Chain and Solana which is really cool and obviously if you're not aware Solana is the chain that Deeper Network is moving over to so it's going to be essential to basically have this and there's land. So you can see it's pretty basic at the minute. It's not, you know, huge. You got BNB, Ethereum. Um, yeah, I'm going to transfer some Solana over now, so we can see what what it looks like when you actually transfer Solana over. So I'm going to go to receive, and I'm going to and I'm going to do it now on the phone. Okay, so I've just sent some Solana to this wallet, and I've just pressed the button. So I'm going to fast forward it until it actually shows up. And he, here we have it. So it didn't take long. Um, it took maybe 15 seconds. So pretty much on par. But now, um, the really cool thing about this is it's that it's on your device. Okay. So it's not a, a floating around wallet that people can access. I'm going to back this up and I'm going to actually use this for my DPR. So I'm going to go to add token. And you can see here that they've already added the brand new DPR token. Okay, so DPR token selected. So I'm going to paste the contract address into here. Token symbol DPR, token decibel 9. Go to confirm. And there we are. So we now have on the Solana chain, so Solana mainnet, we have Solana. And we also have the brand new DPR on the Solana chain. And I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to send a test amount to this Solana address. Okay, so I've just sent 5,000 Solana. So now let's see if it will update. Now, remember that DPR at the moment on Solana doesn't have any liquidity. So you can't actually sell it, and you can't swap it. Um, peer to peer, you probably could. However, um, as it stands, because the migration is still ongoing, you can't actually transfer anything over. Um, or you can't sell it. So if you are going to bridge your Solana based D DPR into Solana based DPR, you're going to get it off your device and send it on the Solana chain. Don't forget that you're doing that because you're going to hold it. Okay. Um, it will take a bit of time 
for the, the liquidity to transfer over as the migration goes through. But I've transferred 5,000 DPR into the account and I'm just waiting for it to go in. And there you have it. So I've now transferred over 5,000 DPR. So now that I know that it works, okay, I'm going to transfer over even more. So I'm going to transfer over. Okay, so I've just sent over quite a big chunk, okay, uh, 374,000 or something. So let's wait for that to go through. And there we go. So now in this account, I have Solana. So 0 0.28 Solana. And I have 352,500 DPR on the Solana chain. Um, now, there's nowhere to sell this. However, it does say that, that the value of that is $1,151. I don't know where it's pulling that price from. Um, but that... Yeah, so that is pulling the price for the actual price of the token right now. So although we can't actually sell this, um, that is the value of that 352,500 DPR. Now we're going to go through backing up the wallet. Now this is quite important. Um, obviously, if you lose your device or your device breaks, you need to have a backup. Um, I would much rather keep my Solana and my DPR on a deeper device than I would on a software device like a hot wallet such as Fan Phantom Wallet, which a lot of people use because it's really, really easy and you can swap it. So I'm going to back it up by clicking on Backup Now. And it just basically says your Web3 wallet is a decentralized wallet that doesn't store your seed phrase on private key. These are the keys to your wallet, so keep them safe. Anyone with access to them can unlock your wallet and access your assets. Not your keys, not your assets. From the scene, not your keys, not your crypto. So we'll go on to Next. Things to remember, if I lose my seed phrase or private key, I won't be able to recover my assets. I understand that I'm responsible, saving and protecting, blah, blah, blah. Start. Input the password. Okay, paste that in. Click confirm. And now you need to note this down. So it says, don't take screenshots to save the seed phrase. You can write it down and keep them stored safely. Okay, now I'm going to take a screenshot because I always do. And I have an encrypted USB stick, so they're not stored online. So I'll do that. Bosh. Done. And then done. Next step. And now you need to verify your seed phrase. So you basically just go through and. Okay. So word number four. That is that one. Word seven is that one. And word nine is that one. Click confirm. And it's successfully marked the backup done. So that notice now has gone and it is backed up. And I now have all this crypto stored on my device and it's perfectly safe. I'm pretty pleased. Um, that's it. That is the crypto wallet in a nutshell. And obviously you can change the uh, chain to whatever you want and it repopulates for you. Um, I didn't realize that I actually had this on. Um, I just came on to see if the new firmware had been put on for the new UI and this just happens to be on. So I'm using it and it's really cool. Um, I'm currently saving my D DPR, which is why I've got so much just spare. Um, and I want to get a million that I can kind of just keep hold of for a rainy day. But that is it. That is the brand new Solana based, well, the brand new deeper wallet, which is on the deeper devices which you can use free of charge doesn't cost you anything and it is pretty secure obviously um, one really important precaution the keywords that you've written down those are your keywords you never ever ever give them to anybody else okay if an admin says he wants them he's lying if deeper say they want them then you're not speaking to deeper okay nobody will ever ask you for your keywords ever in a million years so it's really important that you do not um, hand those over okay because a lot of people they do kind of think they're speaking to a tech support person when it's actually a scammer and they hand over their keywords then the person just rinses the account and you're left with nothing okay or they click something which then opens and then drains your accounts okay so let's get on with what is good and what is not so good about this so this isn't actually a cold storage wallet you would 
it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. It's a mix of both, okay? So um, it is connected to the internet because it's through your deeper device. However, your deeper device is pretty secure. And this is all stored on your deeper device. So technically, it's a cold storage wallet. But if it's connected to the internet, it cannot officially be classed as a cold storage wallet, okay? Um, but as far as security goes, I think this is pretty secure. It's not as secure as one that you would pay for. So, for example, um, uh, Eli, Elipal, uh, Descent, and Safe Pal, or whatever it's called, um, which I also have. Those things are way better than this. However, they cost money. Um, and this is completely free. And that is the upshot of it, really. I mean, if you want to be 100% secure, then buy a Descent or a Safe Pal or a Keystone or whatever. But be prepared to pay money. If you don't want to pay anything, but you still want a pretty high secure device, then obviously this is fine. I have no issues using this. In regards to whether it's more secure or not from MetaMask, Phantom Wallet, Para Algo Wallet, Compass Wallet, um, all the other wallets, you know, all those things, this is way more secure than that. However, um, those keywords still need to be protected, okay? Okay, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget that you can also use the code DEEPENOR at checkout on the Deeper Network site, or click the link in the description to get an extra 5% off. And I will see you on Sunday for the weekly update. Um, take care of yourself. This is basically another addition that makes the devices more desirable and more val val value for money. Because rather than buy a cold wallet, you could just buy a deeper device and get the cold wallet plus the VPN, uh, the DPN, the app relocator, and all the other stuff that's coming out. So it makes sense to buy one of these rather than buy a cold storage wallet if that's what you want. Okay, so thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, take care of yourself and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.